Hi everyone, this is Sangeeta back again and today I'm going to be making apricot dessert bars. Um, here I have um, one and three quarter cups of all-purpose flour. To that I've added half a teaspoon of baking soda. Um, I'm using baking soda because anytime you uh, bake something with uh, acid in it, you generally um, use uh, uh, baking soda. So I've used baking soda and uh, I have a cup of sugar, granulated sugar in there, and just uh, a pinch of salt. To this, what I'm going to do is, oops, this is for later. Um, this is the apricot uh, and the apricot dessert bars. So to this, I'm going to be adding three quarter cups of butter this is at room temperature basically so yeah. just going to mix everything in <clears throat> just going to quickly mix everything in once i mix the butter in what i'm going to do is i have about two thirds of a cup of pecans chopped up and now about two thirds of a cup of our unsweetened, unsweetened flaked coconut. I'm going to um, actually uh, crumble up the the butter uh, into the the flour mixture, uh, and then I'm going to be adding the pecans and the flaked coconuts, and I'm going to be pressing about three quarters of what is there in this bowl uh, into the. Uh, into a 13 by 9 inch pan and just the bottom of it is greased and I'm going to be baking it uh, in the oven for about 10 minutes. This is all crumbly at this point. Best just to mix it with your fingers or you could use uh, two forks to mix it in. That is that. And that is the That's the coconut there. So to mix all of this in super quick and like I said mentioned before I've just greased uh, only the bottom of the 13 by 9 inch pan and I'm going to be adding it in chunks like that spread it use a um, container or um, a katori like this a little cup like that to even it out really doesn't matter because we're going to be dumping this uh, apricot uh, mixture here what I have here is about two cups of uh, dried apricots uh, chopped and um, I added about um, three quarter cup of water and uh, about half a cup of sugar and I'm this has to be cooked till the apricots are really really soft uh, that'll take uh, anywhere between 12 and 15 minutes see to that it's really really soft and uh, once this is baked for about 10 minutes i'm going to be dumping this apricot mixture in here and then topping it with the crumble and baking it again so i've taken this out of the oven after 10 minutes and i'm going to be spreading the filling now can see it's still sizzling. Spread the entire filling and then I'm going to be toppling, uh, topping it with a crumble that I have saved up from before. Uh, just spreading it nicely. Um, and you can actually, uh, if you want, uh, less sugar, um, and if you're not a person who really likes it too sweet, you can reduce the um, quantity of sugar in the filling. The original uh, recipe actually called for about a cup of sugar. I've reduced it to half a cup because the apricots have their sweetness. 
um, natural sweetness so I don't think you need that much I'm going to be adding the crumble top and this has to be uh, baked for further 15 to 20 minutes till um, you know till uh, the topping is nice golden brown so that will take anywhere between 15 and 20, uh, 15 and 20 minutes really depends on uh, on the temperature of your oven so I'm just gonna put it back in the 400 degree uh, oven and um, I'm gonna be uh, you know I'm gonna start checking after 15 minutes. So I've taken the um, apricot desert squares out of the oven and it's been resting on the countertop for about an hour um, you gotta wait for it to cool down before you try and uh, take out and I've also cut the bars. I'm using an offset spatula to take them out. Like so, let me move this away. And these can be stored um, in, the, um, in the room temperature for um, up to one week, uh, assuming that they last a week. So it's kind of, um, uh, yeah it will get done before the end of the week uh, really um, it's really uh, hard to stay off of these uh, bars because they're really really decadent and you should really smell the house it's it smells just great um, that's the number one reason i love baking is uh, the smell uh, the really appetizing aroma so that is that yep that is done Thanks once again for watching the making of Apricot Dessert Squares. Uh, please like, subscribe and share and comment down below what you would like me to make next. Thank you.